quiz on phrasal verbs part two question one could you blank please i can't hear you a could you speak out please b could you speak on please c could you speak in please d could you speak up please correct answer option d speak up could you speak up please i can't hear you now here is why others are wrong speak out the phrasal verb speak out means to say what is on your mind to air your opinion without fear it doesn't fit into the sentence speak on means to address often a topic or an issue. Speak on does not fit appropriately into the sentence. Speak in means to communicate in a specific language. It doesn't fit into the sentence. Speak up means to talk loudly or to vocalize. The sentence says, could you blank, please? I can't hear you. I can't hear you means the speaker is being requested to speak loudly so that he or she could be heard, which makes the correct answer to be speak up. Question two, this clothes would look nice on you. Could you blank, let's see? A, could you try it on, let's see? B, could you try it in, let's see? C, could you try it out? Let's see. D. Could you try it up? Let's see. The correct answer is option A. Try it on. Here is why others are wrong. Try it in is not a standard or recognized phrasal verb in English. Try it out means to test something in order to check if it works well. It doesn't fit appropriately into the sentence. Try it up is also not a standard or recognized phrasal verb in English. Now, try it on means to put on clothes in order to check how it fits, which goes appropriately into this space. This clothes would look nice on you. Could you try it on? Let's see. Question three. I finally blank that he lied to me. A. I finally found on. B. I finally found in. C. I finally found at. D. I finally found out. Now, this question is for you. Which is the correct phrasal verb for this sentence? Kindly leave your answer in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.